In this video, I'm going to explain the difference between standard plasterboard and fire and fire resistant plasterboard. First, I'm going to go through the similarities as that's really important and just give you an outline of the different types of plasterboard. You can also buy moisture resistant plasterboard. That's indicated by this green color. You can buy sound resistant plasterboard, which is blue, and you can buy fire resistant plasterboard, often called Typex plasterboard, which is either pink or red. You can double up standard plasterboard, which gives you half an hour protection for 12.5 millimeters thick. So you can double it up to give you an hour fire protection, which is the same as your fireboard, but obviously you have to bear in mind that your walls will be thicker, or you can use a cement board as well, as that's very good at withstanding heat. But the difference between standard plasterboard and fireboard is quite simple. The thicknesses are exactly the same. The size of the sheets you can buy them in are exactly the same. I think you tend to get fire plasterboard in eight foot by four foot sheets or 2.4 by 1.2. The reason that fireboard exists is because it actually contains some fibers in there. Sometimes you can just make out the fibers sandwiched between the two layers of paper. There are only three different thicknesses of plasterboard in existence. You can buy 9.5 millimeter plasterboard thickness. You can buy 12.5 millimeters plasterboard thickness, which is the most standard across the world. And you can also buy 15 millimeters plasterboard thickness. Now I always avoid 15 millimeter thick plasterboard because it's too big and cumbersome to move into position. And you're gonna need some assistance when you install it. 12.5 mil is the most common and tends to be what I use. The only time I use 9.5 mil thick plasterboard is if I'm over cladding a ceiling. To simplify it, the main difference between fire plasterboard and regular plasterboard is actually the density. You can achieve a similar effect to fireboard by doubling up two layers of standard plasterboard. Standard plasterboard provides a fire resistance for about 30 minutes, whereas fire plasterboard can withstand fire for about an hour. Often fire plasterboard is used in garages where there's more of a risk of combustion and the fireboard will actually line the garage and actually if a fire starts in the garage, it will prevent it spreading through into the house. In commercial applications, fireboard is often used around stairwells in case the building does set on fire and people need to exit. They're often lined with fireboard just so that they hold off for longer than other areas of the building. You can also use fire plasterboard around wood stoves. Uh, the only alternative to fire plasterboard around wood stoves is actually cement board or tile backer board. It's another alternative to you, so I'd just give that a quick Google. If you do have a log burner and you're wondering what to clad your fireplace in, I'd recommend either fireboard or cement board. Fire plasterboard is installed in the exact same way as conventional plasterboard. It's the exact same thickness. It's installed in the exact same way. So you just treat it like any other kind of plasterboard. Because of the fibers in this that make it more resistant to fire, it's also a little bit denser and more hard wearing. It's a little bit heavier than conventional plasterboard due to its density, but in every other sense, it's exactly the same. So I hope you've learned a few little things here about fire plasterboard, and I hope this video has helped you to possibly determine where to use it on your project. If you've learned something from this video, drop us a like, and if you wanna be updated with more helpful DIY videos, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.